Hi there guys, Carly Ferdinand here. Um, today I wanna talk about lower back pain um, really quickly because my phone is about to die. <laughs> I have a lot of time for this. So, um, but lower back pain, I have dealt with it my entire life. I have scoliosis, so as they would say, my, what is it, Forrest Gump, my back's as crooked as a politician. Um, so yeah. Anyways, I want to share with you some things that work really well for me. Um, oh, just so you know why I'm qualified to share this with you. I am a certified personal trainer. Um, I am also a group fitness instructor, um, a fitness nutrition specialist, and I'm certified in some other random stuff, but health and fitness is my gig. So. Anyways, um, lower back pain, we don't want it, so we're gonna try to help with it. Um, so the first thing is a stretch that is just a basic glute stretch. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that set up and show you how that works. All right, so basically, what you're gonna do is you lay your back flat on the mat or ground or whatever, grass, I don't know. Um, flatten out your feet. Then you're gonna take your foot and you're gonna rest it on your opposite knee. And then you're gonna take this knee and you're gonna push it away. And if you're feeling a good stretch here, you can stay here. Make sure you can see it, okay, good. Um, if you're not feeling a good stretch, then you can take your fingers or a belt or towel or whatever, lace it through and pull, all right? You're lacing through the window behind that left thigh or right thigh, depending on what leg you're doing. And then from here, if you still want to take a little further, you can actually flex these feet. And you should feel a pretty intense stretch through the outside of that hip. But that gets right in the glute, and that is the center, right? Yes, that's right next to the piriformis. So if you have any kind of sciatic nerve pain, this is excellent for anybody with sciatic nerve pain. So we're going to let this go. And then always remember even it out, we'll do it really quick. Like I said, the phone's gonna die. Ah. But that's what we do, flex the feet, pull the legs towards the chest, and we wanna make sure we breathe. Every time we exhale, we're moving a little bit further into the stretch. Okay, so next stretch really, really gets that lower back. I like this one a lot. So again, laying down, um, you're going to straighten out one of your legs while you bring the other one with your shin parallel to the ground. You're going to take the opposite hand, take it to the outside of that knee, drag it across. All right, you can look over that right shoulder if you want or whatever and, you know, really rotate through it. What you're trying to do is wring out your spine, basically. You're just twisting, all right? And then we breathe through it. You can roll out the feet a little bit. Um, make sure you're relaxing into your stretches. And we get the other side. Again, shin parallel to the ground, grab it, pull it across, and then we look over that shoulder. We wanna make sure that that shoulder is not lifting off of the mat, but we're nice and grounded. And again, you'll feel that stretch on the outside of the leg, in the hips, maybe um, shooting way further up the back, depending on how tight you are um, in your back. All right, so last but not least is this guy right here. Um, this could also be substituted for a um, lacrosse ball, a tennis ball, any kind of, you know, like fistish sized, dense, round object is gonna work really well for this. Um, they, so anyways, what you're going to do is you're going to take that ball and you're going to place it right in the center of that glute. So it's going to go right 
center of the cheek, okay? So right in the center there and apply pressure. So this can be done in numerous ways. Um, pressure can be applied with your own body weight, like so. There's a couple different ways that you can do this. Um, you can start kind of more on your back and then kind of roll onto it and just use your body weight. Um, it's gonna not feel super comfortable. It actually, they say chase the pain on this one. So it should actually kind of hurt. Um, so if you, you know, watch TV or do something distracting uh, to make it a little more bearable and then you can, you know, as you get more comfortable with it, hold it for longer. But if it is really, you'll know when you hit that area that um, you're, <laughs> you need to apply as much pressure as possible, as much as you can handle. All right, so um, another way that you can do that would be for if you had a partner, which I don't, we'll have our imaginary partner actually just hold and press down for you while you just kind of lay there and relax and enjoy your massage. Um, but, you know, can, you have to communicate with them and let them know if you need more pressure or if, if not too, you know, if it's too much. So, communication. But, anyways, those are my three stretches. Last one's kind of a stretch <laughs> to help with lower back pain. Um, give them a go, and if they help you or a friend, great, and I gotta get going. So have a great day. Thank you. Bye. Mwah.